Honorable Raila Moilodinga, the former Prime Minister, BBI. Yes. He has said that it will bring solutions. Yeah. Also, he has said quite a, a lot of things alluding to other people who yeah. used to be on one side before, but now they are on a different side. Yeah. Your thoughts on that? First and foremost, I believe there is no single document mm. in this world that can change the life of a human being. You know what do I mean? What do you mean? There has to be goodwill. Without good, we have, a, we have a constitution, first and foremost, being a lawyer, you know. It's a beautiful constitution. The problem is implementation. And a good example is the truth agenda rule. Problem is implementation of our constitution. So even if we have a BB, the BBI report coming, which the Honorable Raila Odinga said that it will come up in a, in a few days, yeah. even if it, it is released, you believe that it will not have any effect on the Wanjiko, common first, manager? First and foremost, I believe a BBI, BBI they, they say is all about inclusivity and unity. Mm -hmm. But let's be honest, mm. it's minus one person. Oh, minus which the, person? The deputy president. If you saw the launch the, the last time, you could see his, you could see his, post, his posture. He, was, he felt like he was out of place. And when they talk about the BBI, the, the right hand of the prime minister will say, Uhuru and I. When... As Junet calls, as Junet calls him and his and, and his fellow MPs, when his cows talk, they will say it's Uhuru and Raila. When the likes of Murade talk, they will say it's Uhuru and Raila. So where you leave the deputy president, that's the problem because we're talking about inclusivity, one nation. If you saw the f there was a photo that went viral over the weekend, the photo that they were together with the deputy president, they were saying hi to each other, they sat next to each other, they were talking. That's the Kenya we want. You realize that but you, you believe that the BBI is not as inclusive it's as not because some would feel it's not they feel they, they feel like they are left out it's 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 more or less like a secret if I ask you today what's the BBI what do you tell me it, the report has not been been released we cannot say anything uh, George <laughs> is, is it inclusive Ram this is an initiative and this initiative is supposed to build bridges and I was once told that before you get to the river, you might not know how to cross that, that river. But when you get to the river and you find it full, now you think about the bridge. Look at this nation. This nation has underwent a lot of bloodshed. And the head of the state and the former prime minister are now coming together. And you see, Ram, when you talk about the head of the state, you cannot talk about the presidency without the deputy. And I feel it's inclusive. And we are debating a document that we don't know what it contains. But what we know is that it has a goodwill that it is going to, to build the bridges, things that have been torn out. It is now going to mend this country to be a unified country. Now, let's take a look at this tweet by the uh, Senator of uh, Elgeo Maraquet, Honorable uh, Senator Kipchumba Murkomen. Your thoughts on this? Uh -huh. So, that tweet is coming up on your screen there. All right. So, it's saying, to all who are opposed to the hustlers, I have recommended some books for you. Meanwhile, I leave you with the following quote from President Abraham Lincoln. Things may come to those who wait, but only the things left by those who who hustle? Your response. Ram, hustling in itself has got different meanings. When you give me a good job, I'll still be hustling. I'll be making sure that whatever I do, I do with a lot of authority. I, I do with my mind. Uh -huh. But you see, when you talk about hustling to be like just a narrative, then we, we are not going to make something of it. What about this? If the BBI referendum will uh, mirror the divisive agenda we have witnessed in the Senate, if it shall be reversing the gains on devolution or increasing layers of governance or taking services far from the people, I will oppose it and I'm ready to lead the no campaigns. No need. Rightfully so. Like the key word there is divisive agenda. Divisive agenda. And, and that's what, 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 and you're that's what I'm talking Ali. about. You know, if we're talking about harmonization, if you're, if you're talking about unity. Unity, you, you, we can't be united by, by, minus him. We're talking about, here. We, we want to build something. What if he excludes himself? And now that's a question. 
if he secludes himself, have you reached out to him? He has concerns. And he has concerns. And why do I say that? If we go to the deputy president, he's trying to be, he's set on being the president, for mm -hmm. example. That's mm -hmm. number one. Mm -hmm. Then he hears people saying, the likes of Murada who are going to tell you, the Raila Molo Dinga's time is now. The, you hear Atoli saying, the deputy will not be on the ballot. You're bound to feel aggrieved and you're bound, and you're bound to salute yourself as well. Because he feels like it's, the BBI is more or less a caucus of all those who are against it. But if you check, it's more or less like us versus him, which he kind of likes, if you can tell. And, and who's us? Who's us? More or less their political class, because it's not you and I. Because the BBI, if you're going to be honest with ourselves, it's not about Kenyans. It is not about Kenyans. Do you agree with that? BBI is about Kenyans because we are now trying to make sure that the wounds that were there are healed. Whose wounds? The Kenyans. And saying that it is not for Kenyans, <laughs> that is a hoax. The Honorable Raila said that the BBI holds the solution to problems facing the youths like unemployment. How? Yes. That's the question. How? Number one, we have realized that this nation, the youths are not employed because of some reasons. Some of the reasons are these youths are aligned to some political affiliates. But we are trying to build a nation where when I see Nurdin, I see Nurdin as a Kenyan. I'm not seeing Nurdin as somebody who, has, who subscribes to Asla. Now look at this. When the country had uh, somebody who had also majority votes, but is not in parliament, you know, this person will keep on opposing the parliament every time. And even the good things that the person is supposed to support, we, the person will see that I did not initiate it, I will oppose it. And that's what I mean, the opposition has ever been seen to be opposition, whether they have good things or not. But we are now trying to have a country where everyone's opinion is going to be included. And does this reflect on the rate of employment in the nation, especially for the youth? You know, when, when we talk about the rate of unemployment, mm -hmm. number one, are we even able to employ those who have graduated? If not, what is the reason? The reason could be these particular positions are being held by some people who are above the age of employment. And we are going to look about this. Mm -hmm. Then again, the BBI will also look at, is it because you are in power that your members are so much employed in government? And we are now going to look at where we can strike a balance. Let, let me come to you, Nuri. Yeah. Uh. What I believe is, when you talk about eth ethnicity, like he said, um, different, we're different tribes. The problem is not with the Kenyans. Who has instilled that in us? It's the leadership. Now, who has the problem? It's the leadership itself. They have decided to divide us into communities or ethnicities so that they can use that as, uh, as, 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 a, as a muscle in their political gimmicks. Now, when I, talk, when I say that BBI is not about Kenya, this is what I mean. When you're told that you, you need a regional government, you're told you need a prime minister and two deputies, and you're told you need, a deputy pres you need two deputy presidents, you ask yourself, the ones we have right now, let's talk about employment, let's go there. Forget even ethnicity. Mm. Let's go to Kisumu, for, for example. The governor is? Uh, uh, Professor Anyang Nyong. Yes. Most people in Kisumu are Luos, right? Is unemployment there? It is there. Is there nation, uh, nationwide? It is, a, it, it, it is a countrywide thing, the unemployment issue. It's mm -hmm. not about, the BBI cannot give, it can never hand out employment. If they launch it the, the day they do, the, there is no way they'll be working in town. Shikakazi, shikakazi. They will never, they can never do that. It's all about goodwill. If today the, gov the government decides we want to empower the young men and women. Rami, so let me tell you how even. Let me even give them a secret since it, more or less they are sleeping. The easiest way to employ young people is via skills, via talent. Look at the developed worlds. If you are a fan of football, look at that. If you are a fan of basketball, look at that. If they invest in sports, art, and culture, we would be very far. But what do we have? Shinani guns and gimmicks. And you come and tell me a document will solve my issues. It will never. So long as, even if you have the most beautiful document, <laughs> but without the proper goodwill, it will yeah. never solve. That is but but but, but Nurdin, everything starts from a document, a policy. Laws true. Uh, but he who comes for equity, like I said, comes with clean hands. You're coming for equity and you're saying 
oh, we want to make Kenya well, but wait, first of all, we need a regional government. First, so you're taking care of your interest. For, it's not a, clearly it's not about me. Listen, okay. it's, not, it's not about me. First of all, oh, we need a regional governor. Yeah. For what? Yansuke said, oh, wait, also need a prime minister and two deputies. For what? They would help Kenyans. So first and foremost, what have you done? Rob, one thing that I, that, 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 that I must admit is that uh, uh, Nudin is saying that uh, the problem of unemployment is here and there. It is not just concentrated in a given area. But again, I want to also say that the issue of unemployment is not with maybe a policy or anything. The issue of unemployment has been orchestrated by the leaders themselves. But again, this document, and Ram, you said it, that most of the good things will have some document to support them, some policies to help in the framework, in running them. And now this document is going to ensure, take for example, the 30% procurement. Mm. The 30% procurement that was left for the youth. What has happened? It is not that it is not there. The only thing is that we changed the forest, but we did not change the monkeys. So the monkeys are continuing doing the same things they used to do. In as much as I admit that, it is also going to create a bigger government. But again, let us look at this run. You get 6, 000, 6 million votes. Somebody gets 8 million votes. And then you say winner takes it all. Does so it happen? So you're saying we're, we're changing the, fo the forest but not changing the monkeys. That is what we have been doing. But, but, but the, you know, a monkey cannot be led by a snake. Yes. Yes. Can a monkey be led by a different? A monkey will be led by. But now, who is the snake in this Ram, le, 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 Let me say something. Ram. Yes. You know, first and foremost, uh, <laughs> first and foremost, Ralph, you know, uh, he's talking about when he takes it all. Mm -hmm. Ideally, when you become the president and you're being sworn in, you're the president of the Republic of Kenya, not president of Nairobi, Kiambu, and what have you, right? Mm -hmm. That's why, that is where I'm talking about the goodwill. You realize? So if you say you will preserve, uphold, and follow the constitution, and the constitution is all about unity, you know, whatever BB is trying to do, uh -huh. it's then the constitution. Now, 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 now time, time is not on our side. Let's head over to Twitter and see what people are saying. The hashtag is the stand, K-E, at Y254 channel, at Ramaguko. Uh, this is uh, uh, consor consor racial and Asema, this is Kenya. Only Kano dominated the political arena for quite some time. Since then, no political party has ever sponsored a president for more than one term. Jubilee it is on its deathbed, is it? Well, to some extent. To some yes. extent. To but, some extent. But, but Kanu has outlived so many parties. Now, this is the reason why I say to some extent. Mm. You could realize that the same people who are in Jubilee are now going to build this particular nation. Through the BBI. <laughs> <laughs> Nurdin looks like he disagrees with you. Uh, why do you say it is so sad to see how young people cannot not take a stand and say enough is enough? Why can't they s just sit back and get themselves involved in other empowerment activities? Yes. If they wait on politicians, it may take quite some time for the promises to be fulfilled. Exactly. Right. This is what I was, t I was talking about. I said empowerment will never be handed over to you. It's not like a sweet. You have to take it. The Muranga issue has been disturbing me mentally. The narrations from both sides are something every Kenyan should digest and think twice. None of the sides is speaking with sobriety. The political temperature is too high. And I wonder how can we reduce these temperatures? Okay, do you have one more tweet? Do you have any other? All right, uh, l l uh, I think let's bring that to, to an end. Um, I'd, I'd like to give you each just a minute to have a final word about how you think. Still, you gave your stand about how a political party, how a ruling political party needs to take the country to the next level. Yeah. Looking at how Jubilee is, will it take the nation to the next level in terms of you know, how positive the nation needs to be? Your thing. First and foremost, I don't believe um, Jubilee will take us anywhere. Let's be honest with, this, with, with, each, with each other here. It's been eight years. You doubt it? I doubt it because they talk about unity, uniting the entire country. But charity begins at home. You can't be 
caning other people's children while your child is a thief inside your house. You know? They need to sort their mess. You see, they need to lead by example. Yes. They need to sort their mess and they need to take care of whatever is happening in-house and not make it spill over. Because we are getting to a position where the youth are going to be used to fight wars they know nothing about. They are going to be used for issues they know nothing about. And that is what I'm saying. We as young men and women in this country need to know where we draw the line. All right. Uh, thank you. Um, I want to admit that to some extent, uh, seeing the things that are happening now, mm -hmm. it might not take us to the next level. But again, also advocate for sobriety and uh, people to sit down, reason together. But again, my stand as a youth should be that the youths should not accept the cheap things and propagate violence. They have got a lot to do that will make them be a people of a future Kenya. Mm. If we allow them to be used by the politicians, or if I, they allow themselves to be used by the politicians, then we, are, we will be talking about youths being leaders of tomorrow all the time, and that tomorrow will never mm. come. Thank you very much. That is uh, George Kennedy and uh, Nurdin Kagai joining us tonight. Make sure that you keep tweeting. The hashtag is uh, the stand KE at Ramaguko at Y254 channel. This conversation still continues. Remember, a day in politics, a lot can happen. See you again next week. That is all the time we had tonight. Uh, my name is Ramaguko. Keep it Y254. This is the stand. <laughs>